Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Going. In our today's video, we will talk about how to simplify these algebra expressions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is three different algebra expressions wherein we will simplify this using loss of exponents. And to be specific, ang lo na natin is simply using the power of a power. So what we have here is x squared, y, and then the exponent of the labas is 3. So basically guys, if you have this kind of expression, you have this expression, and then you have the exponent outside, what you need to do is to multiply this, this exponent outside to the exponent of the given variable or the coefficient inside the parentheses. So it will go like this. Here, in x, in x we have the exponent of 2. In the variable y, we have an exponent of 1. So basically, if we will do this uh, in a step-by-step manner, it goes like this. You x natin, copy your variable x, and then copy the exponent of 2, then multiply this exponent outside. So it will become x raised to the second power times 3. And for the y variable, copy the y variable, we have the exponent of 1 times 3. So basically, all you need to do is to simplify this. x is equal to 3 times 2 or 2 times 3, which is 6. And then for the y variable, you have y raised to 1 times 3, which is equal to 3. And this is now the simplified form of item number y. So let's have number 2. For number 2, it's quite different from the first example because it has a coefficient of 9, but don't worry, same process lang nagawin natin. Here, your coefficient 9, it has the exponent of 1, while your x has the exponent of 3. So in step-by-step -step manner, what you need to do is to copy your base, which is 9. You have the exponent of 1 times the exponent outside, which is equal to 2. Next, for the variable x, we have here x cubed times the exponent outside, which is 2. And right now, what we need to do here is to simplify the exponents. We have 9 raised to 1 times 2. That is 2. Okay? And then for the x variable, x raised to 2 times 3 or 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. But, we will, we will not stop here, guys. Your adding 9 squared can be simplified into 81. And then copy this one, x raised to 6. Therefore, the simplified form of 9 x cubed squared is simply 81 x raised to 6. So what we have now here is that we have negative 2. In number 3, a negative 2, a raised to 5, b squared raised to the third power. Don't worry, guys. Here, in negative 2, we have the exponent of 1. Okay? So we will try to do this step by step for you to understand well. Your negative 2, and close that in my parenthesis, negative 2 raised to 1 times 3. And for the variable a, that is a, raised to 5 times 3. For the variable b, we have b raised to 2 times 3. All we need to do is simplify this. This one, 1 times 3 is positive 3. So what we have now for negative 2 is negative 2 raised to 3. Knowing that, if we will expand negative 2 raised to 3, there is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, so what we have is negative 8. Meaning, the simplified form of negative 2 raised to 3 is simply negative 8. So we have now negative 8 for the a, a raised to 5 times 3, which is 15. Then for b, which is b raised to 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. And here it is, guys. This is the answer for number 3. So I hope guys learned something from this video on how to simplify 
this kind of expressions using laws of exponents. And for your assignment, I will give you this. We have 5x cubed y to the fifth power raised to 2. I hope na makita ko yung inyong answer sa ating comment section. I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to simplify these expressions using loss of exponents. And if you want to avail this kind of t-shirt, yung ating link ay nasa ating description box. So I hope na supportahan niyo yung ating merchandise. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goen. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!